night, guys. So we're gonna raid. Right Do you ever end your stream disappointed with the numbers from that session and wonder, did I make the right choice of platform to spend my streaming days on? Well, you're not the only one. YouTube and Twitch are constantly in the headlines fighting for supremacy. With Facebook offering a 100% profit split on some subs, and new players like Trovo coming along and offering a fresh take on the industry. And let's not ignore the insane discovery power of streaming on mobile apps like TikTok and Instagram Live. But what if there was an easy and free way to stream to them all at the same time? Miss, that is, that's a wire. That's a wire, you don't want to touch that. First off, what is simulcasting? Also known as multi-streaming and restreaming. Well, it's where you broadcast your stream to multiple platforms at the same time and interact with multiple charts as they come in live. The pros of multi-streaming are that you can double, triple, or even quadruple your reach and you can grow your brand on multiple platforms at the same time. No, come on, it's the wire, the wire again. Do you like to stop? Come on. You're... And it can help you figure out which platform you want to grow on long term and the cons are that you don't build a stronger community as you end up bringing people from different platforms together when these people normally wouldn't mix aka the kids from tiktok interact with the tweens from twitch who end up insulting the adults on youtube who end up being put off by the boomers on facebook that is a joke by the way please don't be offended and i'm mostly talking to the facebook boomers here so how do you multi-stream for free well some services like restream.io offer a free service if you plaster their name and branding all over your stream. Or there's a plugin for OBS, meaning you don't need any third party help, except for the plugin. But everything is handled for free from within your OBS. But beware, it does come with some pretty significant drawbacks, but I'll get to that in a minute. So how do you download it? Well, head to my link in the description and then hit go to downloads. Then download the OBS 28 version.exe file under assets and if you don't have OBS 28, scroll down to find the version you need to download. Once downloaded, follow the install instructions and then open OBS and boom, you'll see a box like I'm seeing top left. And if you don't see this box, you should be able to see it under docs in the menu top left. And if you can't see it there, then double check you downloaded the right version for your OBS and double check you downloaded it to the right directory. Next step, hit the like button under this YouTube video. Then you can now move this multiple output doc anywhere in OBS. It'll just slot right in. Now, if you click add new target, you can put in your first streaming platforms info. The name can be anything. The RTMP server is your host URL and the RTMP key is your stream key. You can find this information under your created dashboard on your streaming platform or somewhere in your stream settings. It'll be there. Fill out this information for your first platform you want to stream to, then hit OK. Then you can add a new target and fill it out for as many platforms as you want. Leave the encoder as get from OBS and all the other info as is. If you want to stream to different platforms with different resolutions, you will need to change this info, but I recommend not doing that as it means your PC will need to encode whole new streams for the different resolutions, meaning it will be working even harder to transmit. So if you can avoid streaming to different platforms at different resolutions, do so. And there you have it. It is that easy to install and set up. Now, the fallbacks of using this method to multi-stream is that your computer is doing all the work. So if you want to send out two high quality streams, then your computer is doing twice the work of a normal stream. Three high quality streams, three times the work. So you need a pretty decent machine to pull this off. Not an insanely amazing machine, but the more you want to do here, the more power it's gonna take. And that's not even taking into account that you would have to change the resolution for certain sites, like Facebook, if you're not in a level up program, where you'll wanna send out 720p to Facebook because that's the most it can do. And sending more there would mean it would downscale and make the quality worse. So you'll wanna send 720 to Facebook and probably 1080p to everywhere else for the best quality, meaning OBS has to encode an entirely new stream, which will take a lot more out of your computer. So to get around that, I would either stream 720p to everywhere, or you know, avoid Facebook streaming. Unless you're fine with sending out less than optimal quality, that's fine. If you think the reach is better than the quality, then go for it. My point is that there are caveats to using this method. Streamlabs has their own inbuilt multi-streaming tool that you should check out in this video here, since it's much easier to set up and they have solved the problem of needing a super high-end PC to pull this off. So 
go watch that and thank you for watching.